All right, this is uh, my Palomino mare, Ed's Platinum Blonde. I'm Ed. Uh, she's got a lot of energy right now. I'm gonna uh, show show you what it's like to go around these trees with, and you'll kind of get a feel like what her energy level's like. Um, now she's, you know, she's nice and calm now. Easy. Let's go over there. I don't like how her head's up like that. There you go. When her head's up, she's typically hollering out her back. It's it's nervous, you know, so she's like kind of there. That's good. She's leaving the country, like I like to say, you know. So this is the kind of stuff I'm trying to get her to be under control, you know. Like, just control your emotions, girl. There's nothing to worry about. I'm not asking. Just so you know, I'm not I'm not putting a leg on her or anything. She's doing this. She's this is all her. This is all her. You know, getting getting frantic about it. Slow down. Gotta watch these branches. Kind of show you what it's like with her. She gets going here. So I just turn like really quickly, and she'll kind of anticipate what she thinks you want, or or she'll just kind of do what she wants. Yeah, she wants to run up the hill here. So I I pick out different trees and different things to work with her with yeah you know, see how she's blowing out it's really good there that's a good sign that's showing that she's getting a hold of her emotions but see how she raised her head there so she's leaving the country again see so her her thought changed from being all right this is not too bad to i'm out of here or maybe she's just thinking i want to get back to the barn i don't know it's hard telling so i just keep doing it see I should raise her head there that's not a it's not ideal that's not what I'm going for so I, I try to reward her when her head drops like they're good and that's good and you'll see so so see her thoughts are, are not that way her thoughts are this way and that's why she's you know Getting, getting more energy and more frantic that way. And so this kind of stuff I'm working with. You gotta really be, <laughs> when you hop on her, I mean, when she's, when she's good, she's picture perfect. If she gets, if she gets scared or, or just frantic, then, you know, she'll, overreact and you really got to be ready in the saddle because she'll dart from one side to the other really quickly and I mean you can get dumped and and what happens too now is sometimes my hands get caught in her mane and same thing with uh, Wayne when I'm riding my stallion Wayne uh, Sometimes my hand gets caught in his mane because I'm switching and the wind's blowing and you know, you're having to switch directions really quickly. See there, I'm putting my put my right leg on her and I'm directing her around this tree. I'm kind of looking over my shoulder here a little bit. I'm going to go like this. And now I'm going to mix it up and go around the tree again. So I try to mix it up, you know, so you, they don't know like what you're going to do. And see how she's, she's pretty pretty good about it right now and she just has these waves like this like where she'll she'll come to and then she kind of gets boogered and then and then she comes to and then she gets boogered she comes to and she gets boogered I just keep working her through it like I say all the time this is why getting a really good riding horse 
it takes a long time, you know, it takes a lot of effort. And uh, one of the things I should probably talk about too is, is um, I know if you're new to horses and everything, you might not understand it. You know, horses are pricey, or they can be, and uh, they're definitely expensive or pricey to take care of, you know. I think in Kentucky, I looked it up online and pretty much matched, matches what my experience is that to properly care for a horse in Kentucky where I am, it's about eight or nine thousand dollars a year. That's food, farrier, vet, you know, vet care, vaccine, stuff like that, uh, supplements probably, and maybe even some board or something. You figure some of that in there. And so they're really expensive, you know. That's why I tell people, like, you know, if I sell a horse, a, a four-year-old horse, you know, for, I don't know. If I sell it for $40,000, I broke even, you know. I just broke even. And they say, well, how do people do it? You know, you see horses that are 1500 bucks, 500 bucks, you know, 3000 these kind of prices. Uh, you have to know that this is the reason a lot of times that you get that kind of stuff like that. It's because somebody no longer wants that horse for whatever reason. And they're trying to get out from underneath the bills. Okay, so they're, to them it doesn't matter. Just, you know, get rid of it for even for nothing almost and they get out of the bill. That's one reason. Um, the other thing is that uh, there's something wrong with it, you know. And a lot of times people get horses and um, they, they're they new to it, you know, and they get on a horse and it, and it does some behavior and it scares them. Maybe it's something dangerous. Maybe it rears up. Maybe it runs off with them. Maybe it rears up and falls over backwards or lays down on them or kicks them or bites them or they can't catch it or all these kind of things. And, uh, and or it's got some sort of injury, you know, that they didn't tell you about. Or maybe the people don't even know, but it, usually they know. It's got like a kissing spine or it's got some sort of leg problem or knee problem or hoof problem or something or it it's does some really dangerous behavior like erratically kind of you know stuff like that and so you'll see people get these horses and and uh then they they get afraid of them and they go they try to sell it get rid of it um uh, and then the other way is is um different horse dealers and stuff will they'll pick up they a lot of them know a lot about horses and they can pick good horses and so you know they get they get a hold of somebody i remember talking to this guy and he told me what he did he goes he would you know drive on a country road or something and if you see these you know horses out a couple horses out all the time just out in the pasture or something he'd roll up and he'd look at the horse and horses and he'd ask the people hey you thinking of selling them and a lot of times it'd be like a, oh, their daughter's at college or, or, you know, whoever had them isn't riding them anymore. And so they, he would be able to pick up these horses for cheap. And then what they would, he would do is he'd put like 30 or 30 days on them, or depends on the horse, he'd put a week's worth of training on it or 60 days maybe. And then they'd sell them. And so that's how, that's how you can get the prices down, like on that kind of stuff. And unfortunately, um, the the term trail horse is is kind of a catch-all phrase of any horse that kind of can carry a rider, and maybe it was in a discipline or something. It doesn't have what it takes, or maybe it's got an injury or something, and people will uh, unload the horses as trail horses. Uh, what we're doing here something really different uh, and so far I haven't had a lot of traction with it um, because I don't know maybe people just don't appreciate it but what we're doing here is we're breeding them raising them and training them from the ground up 
to be good riding horses. So our horses are not, um, they're not failed uh, uh, like horses that performance horses or padded horses or anything like that. We've, we've raised, we've had them born here and we raise them up for babies. Uh, and then we, we start them and everything and, and train them up. So by the time we have it, have a horse that's a young horse that's ready to sell, it's pretty pricey, you know, because I have all this money in it. And, uh, but I think you get the best kind of horse that way. You know, you're going to get a horse that's, is not injured, knows how to, really has a good foundation on it, knows how to, how to be a good riding horse, all that kind of stuff. And like I said, we, we train in, in, uh, we're students of the Vaccaro, uh, discipline of horseback riding and training, which if you're not, not familiar with it, look it up. It's really interesting. I mean, it's, it's a few hundred years old. Uh, it's based in like some Spanish stuff and, and, uh, but the Vaqueros, uh, took pride in their horsemanship skills and they so they spent a lot of time getting the horses soft and supple and listening to their the the most uh, slightest cues and so when they would be riding a horse you can even tell uh, what they're doing and so that's what we're trying to do here too and as far as I know there's there's no one like doing it on the scale we are as far in especially not in gated horses in the gated horse community uh, they they train differently uh, a lot of them not all but a lot are uh, very mechanical they, they'll use big shank bits and stuff like this to get the horses under control and they do uh, they grow their toes out on their hooves they put weighted shoes on them they do, they put chains on, they do all sorts of stuff. We don't do any of that. In fact, all our horses are barefoot. Like Blondie here is barefoot. And, uh, you know, I'm just riding her. And she goes over rock and all sorts of stuff. Very hard hooves. Spent a lot of, we, a lot of effort goes into that. I mean, it's nutrition and then also how we care for them and uh, what we do out in their stall, in their, uh, uh, areas around their barns and stuff like that where they walk in and out uh, you know we put gravel down and all this kind of stuff to help them toughen up their hooves and all that and as you can see it 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 pays off I don't have any any problems with our horses like that but if you talk to gated people in the gated world they're gonna they're gonna suggest oh grow the toe out uh, go put this kind of shoe on it put this kind of bit on it you know all these kind of things and we don't follow any of that we're doing it totally differently <clears throat> and i think you're going to get a better horse she's doing pretty good right now she's, she's coming too now she can lose it here in a, in, a, in a minute you know and i'm not riding her like with that thought in my mind but i'm just saying like i just know how she is and the best thing to do when you have a horse that's nervous is to let them move and move their feet. Because what does a horse do when he's, he or she's afraid? They run away, right? And so if you bottle that up, you're not helping them. But if you can let them sort of run away, but you control it like you, like I said in one of my other videos, my friend Eric said he goes uh, a horse picks the tempo but we pick the dance and so you know if their tempo's up you know well you just you just direct them in a way to use that and that helps them before you know it they it calms them down just like they would if they were running away from something they're only going to run so far and then they're going to stop and they're going to all snort and blow out and and be relaxed and back to normal there she's rolling that cricket real nice now see that's good so this is helping her yeah she's doing well 
Can't wait till she gets through all this. Eric said that he goes, just just keep at it, and one day it'll just be gone, and uh, she'll just give it up. And I'm hoping that day comes here. But I am enjoying the process. Now, she'll probably pick up speed right here. She's been doing that. Like, if she gets to the gate, she, and she thinks, like, oh, I can get to my friends. See, she's speeding up here, so... There you go, but I didn't do anything. I just let her kind of do it a little bit. Now I'm gonna direct her around the gate here. Whoop. See now, see I changed. Whoop. See, this is what she'll do. She'll like kind of overreact. Now, I don't like how she's got her head up. Like she needs to drop her head. There you go, good. I'm gonna go through the gate this way here. I'm not gonna go through the gate. There you go, good. See how we have gravel, I don't know if you could tell, we have gravel down in there in the areas that they walk on a lot and that really helps their, their hooves. Okay, turn her here. My right leg on her. There we go. Okay. Well, this is good, I'm gonna keep working with her. Should people subscribe? They should. <laughs> hey, smash that like button and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching.